Hi guys. So I am in front of um, the church without a pastor, <laughs> members and uh, priests. Um, this church is located in Germany and um, it's a very beautiful place and a beautiful house. And um, yes, people purposely just come here, people walk around here. It's a beautiful landscape with the sun rises and sets here and goes down also. Uh, my office is just five minutes walk from here. So when I am on, let's say, midday break, I often walk to this place just to take a walk for 30 minutes and I'll go back. So it's a very beautiful place. It was actually built in 2015, and I think it's in the honor of those who died in the, uh, in the world, uh, Second World War. Yes, it's a very historical place, and um, I love the fact that it is open for everyone, and people can just come in here and uh, quietly pray on their own. The first time I saw this place, it was like uh, three years ago, and um, I was just asking myself so many questions like, why will a church not have a priest, a leader? <sighs> but who is going to answer that question? But there is a concept. There is a reason this place was built. And I think in this crisis, in this time, a lot of people visit here now because of the lockdown so guys if you are just hearing a car now it's actually the people who are just finished praying and they have just entered their car and they are zooming off so guys um have you heard the story of how 50% of those or 80% of those who actually came to Europe through the sea, how majority of them or half of them are dead, but they still live. Yes, a lot of people I heard died and, um, you know, and they still live. People said their spirits still walks around here in in Germany. So guys, I am actually in a farm. This place is also a farm because in summer, the farmers around here, they cultivate um, a kind of, um, I think, corn. Yes, corn. So there is a very big tractor coming and there is a man also jogging. So the whole thing here is noisy, but hi, the whole thing here is noisy, but <laughs> I was just getting someone who is jogging. A lot of people actually jog here. It's normally quiet, but today I am lucky to see one of the farmers and he's driving past by. I hope he doesn't touch my car. So, um, it's a very big tractor, and it's one of the farmers here. So, guys, I hope that noise you enjoyed it. <laughs> Can you hear the noise of the pigs? So, guys, um, like I was saying, a lot of people come here and, uh, you know, they never made it back alive. And some people, their parents never even knew that uh, they were on their way to Europe and they died on the way. So it's kind of um, scary sometimes or it's a very big concern for me because um, if actually there are people who died and they are still living here in Europe, do you believe in stuff like that? There's every possibility that 
those sisters who are living with some men or some men who have children already, they are ghosts. So that is the reason why they have refused to go and see your parents or even to travel. So you can't really blame them because <laughs> it's not their fault. It's not their fault. So guys, that is it. And um, a lot of people actually die in that sea. And you see, it's not a story. Thousands of people have actually died there and a lot who have not seen the videos, who does not know the real situation of things there, are also going to die. If we don't keep educating people in the dangers of crossing the sea, crossing this sea to Europe. And those, everything is beautiful here. So sometimes when I am tired and uh, Ooh, my heart is heavy. I just come here and pray. And here is a little bus where you can also drop your offering. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for the life that you have given us, and we thank you for those who made it alive to Europe. Lord, we ask that you comfort every parent who is still expectant and whom their child is lying under that sea. Lord, we ask that you make a way and provide and console them. And we pray for everyone who is still running around, looking for a way to succeed here in Europe. Lord, I ask that you open ways for them. You make ways for them. You make way for each and every one of us, oh God for those who are still running around, looking for documents. Lord, make the law easy. Change laws. We change laws. Make it possible to people to work for three years and they are permitted to stay. Let it no longer be a form of sin that everyone will be immorally committed before he or she can succeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I pray for my dear country. I pray that Nigeria will understand that the state called Nigeria is not working. And we will open our arm and welcome the division of the country so that everyone will be happy. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh. So I am the only congregation today. I am the pastor. I am the congregation. Yes. So I sit quietly, meditate, and thank God for everything. If you have the opportunity, like I think you can also as well pray in your house, but this is an open place with a lot of air and freshness. So I think it's a good idea that this place existed. I come here. I come here. A lot. And each time I come here, I come here to meditate and take a walk and breathe in fresh air. That is exactly what I come here sometimes to do.